I am here chilling under the nice mango tree at the Phoenix Theatre with the young, beautiful, talented Chantal Jackson. Miss Jackson, <laughs> welcome to Five Minutes to Showtime. Thank you, thank you. Well, it's great to have you here sitting down with us under the mango tree. We just have wait for the mango then for drop so we can I catch. Understand, yeah, because we kind of high. That's right. <laughs> All right. Now, we are here to talk about your most recent debut in an international film. Uh, not many actors can boast of having international film acclaim, but you can. They're still very young in the business. So, first question. Name of the film. The name of the film is Yardi. All right. Now, how did you hear about that? How did you get the opportunity to audition? I'm assuming you audition. I didn't just call and say, yeah, do it. No, I had to audition. Um, Cecile from Cinecom, who were the casting agents in Jamaica, contacted me and said, hey, um, I sent your photo up for a feature film. I can't tell you much about it right now, but just know um, I needed to come in and audition. She sent me the sides, went in, did the audition, a self-tape um, on camera, sent it over. And two weeks after, she said, the director is coming and would like to meet you. Now, at this time, I had no idea that Idris Elba was a director. Who was a director? Well, I don't know. No, at Jamaica, at Jamaica, you know, people know actor around here. People know star, and there are some stars where Jamaicans particularly like, especially the females. So where is the director? Did name again? Idris Elba. The real black man, the big, strong-looking black man. Tall, you know, that one. Mm -hmm. No, at this time, so I knew he was affiliated with the film, right? But I thought he was like an executive producer or something. They know he was a director. So when I got there, he emptied the room. He said, you know, let me just um, speak with her for a bit. And he was surprisingly very down to earth, very calm. You know, he told me that, you know, this is his debut. It's his baby. Um, Jamaica's culture is very um, important to him. It's very close to him. So it was very important for him to do a Jamaican British film mm -hmm. as his debut. And, in, you know, he said, this is my baby. Will you work for me? And this is before the audition, I was like, of course. And he said, okay, he brought the lead, Amel Amin, to Jamaica to do the audition with me in the room. And, you know, we started and he basically took the camera, one of the cameras, and he was just following us with the camera by himself, you know, kind of guiding us. And it was, it, it was amazing. I cried. <laughs> and at the end of it, he said, so I, I had a show here at the Phoenix Theatre. And I walked around from, because it was at the courtly, I walked around. And by the time I got right there, Cecile called me and she was like, there's a 99% chance you might get this room. So, um, clear your schedule. Clear your schedule. <laughs> <laughs> and listen out for a call. Not this time, I still didn't tell anybody about it. I saw, I met Idris twice before I even told my best friend about it. Because, you know, you know, we don't want to get nobody excited. And, and then it is it not happen. So, you know, um, so I didn't tell anybody. Of course, I had to tell Auntie Dela, Dela Harris, they come say. Yeah. Because I was in her production, and if I had to leave, it would mean getting an alternate. So, you know, I spoke to her about it. Um, she was excited, of course. Sad that I had to leave the production. I love the production. Um, and in the production, I was actually coming from London. <laughs> End up going and, uh, to London. I was, I, I'm going to <laughs> London, right. Um, so, it happened, and like, he met with me right before he left a couple days after with me and Amel. And afterwards he told me, you know, he just wanted to see the chemistry because the chemistry in the film is very important. Because even though it's a film about drugs and crime and stuff like that, because it's it's Jamaica in the eighties. And at that time you couldn't you can't avoid um, politics and crime and stuff like that. 
um, which which is what the book was the book is based on. Um, but he wanted the film to have a very strong love connection. Ah, he so wanted yeah. the characters to be very um, humanized, and he wanted the film to be very authentic as well. Which is why he came to Jamaica for Jamaican talent. So I was very excited about that. And like two weeks after, um, Cecile called me again and said the director would like to call you. Um, I'm giving him your number. I said okay. I just woke up, right? So I'm sitting on the bed now. British time and Jamaican time, we're like six hours apart. So I'm sitting up on the bed. We are wild. We're not go bathroom. We're not peeping, not peeping, nothing. I'm say I'm waiting for this call because this means congratulations, you got the role. Or unfortunately, you know, we're sitting up on the bed and he called me and he said, so um, I was just waiting on one uh, station. To confirm because he has to go through several channels it's not just okay if I like you you get the role the executive producers yeah. every like it go it's a long process mm -hmm. so even though he liked me the possibility was still there that I couldn't get it um, and he said if you're interested the role is yours I scream in on the phone Deafy poor man I, I had to apologize twice <laughs> <laughs> because I apologize because when he came back on the phone he was like know that my earring is back <laughs> is that a yes <laughs> i was like of course it was it was just amazing and then going there to shoot it was just amazing working with amel amin who is just a brilliant actor everybody the producers gina everybody was just were amazing. there other jamaicans there with you yes so the film actually has me sheldon shepherd and Everald the Creary um, as leads who went to London and then it, when we came here of course Rose Town you know is a big part of it Chris Johnny Daly um, Para Laws mm -hmm. plays my grandmother yes. in it hey know. Carol it's quite a few quite a few Jamaicans so I'm excited for everybody to see it a lot of people casting directors um, directors, agents are really interested in Jamaican talent. Mm -hmm. So I went to LA last year to meet with a couple of casting directors and everybody was asking, so what's the talent like in Jamaica? We you tell them? Me said, we have enough talent. <laughs> no, and I said, listen, we don't just have actors, we have cameramen, we have sound people, we have grip, yes. we have everything. Yes. Me said, just come, just bring your body, come, everything can do. The location is beautiful. Yep. You're gonna be going a long way, girl. Yeah, yeah. Next, Grace Jones. Look on her. Look like Grace Yo, Jones. Yeah, Grace Jones. So on um, Grace Jones sang in a yardie. Ah! I see. I'm talking to things. Come and know that. So yeah. next, next to making Grace Jones, Chantal Jackson. You heard it here. You know her. Now you're gonna be a fan of Chantal. Go follow her on all her social media and all them something there. When you find her, follow her. Be a fan. Fan. Fan it. Five minutes showtime. We got the scoop. Welcome to the Educom Cooperative Credit Union. Our mission is to improve the quality of life for you and your family. We have higher deposit rates, competitive loan rates, and lower fees. Come and experience these benefits and much more at any of our nine branches island-wide. Contact us at 9266973 and we'll even take the credit union to you. Educom Cooperative Credit Union. Value through service, integrity, innovation, and commitment. This Mother's Day was one to remember with the staging of a number of great shows. Here's a quick recap. Who is unable to be here today and remember my... Mom, I will not pray for that man! Yes! Yes! Oh, you will! So it really had an important message uh, from a spiritual uh, basis. 
I think it has a good message, as was said by my husband, in that conveying the decisions that we make in life. Um, I found the mom's part um, to be very overbearing, and I really um, relate to that because I think a lot of parents are like that. But I, I also hope that for those who saw it, realize that sometimes when we pray for our children, we have to pray and just leave them up and let God do the rest. The part where uh, Keturah, when she got up and said that she had a conversation with God himself, I realized that I too need to have my conversation with my God and come to that point where I know that my soul is ready any day he come. If he should choose to come now, I need to have my conversation with him so that I'll be ready. It was very hilarious. Enjoyed it. Worth my money. I got my money's worth. Very, very hilarious. I laughed till I cried. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. It was so great. I even get, get a fake $50. <laughs> I had so much fun. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Lovely, lovely. I must come and see it again. It was tremendous and it was out for the mothers. And um, I think they play a marvelous role showing um, the experience between the ghetto and uptown exactly how people communicate between um, between a ghetto and a uptown area and it was good and it was good it was a number one show for the year i think <laughs> this is rosie murray and Rosie Murray happens to be one of Jamaica's stalwart actors. Are you? Long time. How does you want to know? Thank you. <laughs> Why may I tell you? Rosie, when people tell us they are fabulous, fierce, good, good actor, most times we forget you look at them and go. Mm, <laughs> are you? Okay. You know, you know, the truth is that though, we tend to be our biggest critic. At least me. I tend to be my biggest critic. And even watching something that I've filmed, I always have issues with it, you know? Mm -hmm. I look at it and mm -mm, no, that emotion. But you could have get like a bit more out of it, you know? When you see your face, you go, why, why did I make why, that Why did I make that face? face? Thank you. I'm one serious thing. <laughs> but, but, but everybody else said, but it's just right. Mm -hmm. But I'm never, ever quite satisfied. Indeed. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to let Jamaica in on a little secret mm -hmm. that some people know and a lot of people don't know. Mm -hmm. You were in a movie and you did a scene in that movie and everybody who know you said, no, Rosie. I've done quite a few. Tell me them. Tell me one no, and two man. Uh, one, one love. One love. Me do scam. Yes. Me did going to extremes mm -hmm. series. Me did lunatic. 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 You did in a lunatic too. See ya. Let me tell you something about <laughs> lunatic. It's the first time I was going to see myself on big screen, mm. Carib. And to be honest with you, Jerry, me never ever see myself walk off yet. Cause you know, you can't see yourself walk off. See ya, Jerry, me in a Carib theater for the premiere. And me walk off into the scene where me say um, to Busha, take his hand, Busha. <laughs> and then me and, and Aloysius walk off and see ya. When I see the walk off and I hear the whole like carry the pan, whoa! 
I slide me, slide go on and eat the chair, you know, because you know, oh my goodness, that's what it looks like. <laughs> oh, Jerry. Yes, no, <laughs> you have a very famous walk away. I'm telling you. Trust me. Everybody hate to see you leave. Love to watch <laughs> you go. <laughs> oh, sir, that one was an eye opener. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can imagine for you. Yes. All right. So you've been on stage, you've been on screen, you travel got far in with play, you come back, you've been on radio, mm -hmm. you've done so many wonderful things that most wow. people dream of doing. Live I a full tell life. You, I give so much thanks because guess what? Not many people get to live their dreams. Mm -hmm. And when I was a little girl and I told my parents that, oh, you know, I wanted to do theater. My parents were teachers, you know, principal and you know, um, their only professions in doctor, lawyer, engineer, whatever. And I said, I wanted to act. I want to do theater. You see anybody who look like you on TV? <laughs> <laughs> you know what like I mean? Appearance. You understand me? I was, well, no, but I will be the first. Exactly. Thank Attitude, you. deal with it. And to see that my parents, before they passed on, because me a full fan now, right? Mm -hmm. um, meaning that I'm a total orphan, yes. people. Um, to see that they actually got to a point where they were proud that this was the route that I chose and I was able to live through so many dreams, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. The stage, the, the radio, the movies, the sitcom, you know what I mean? Writing, doing my one woman show, cause yeah. that was another dream too, Indeed. you know? Um, no. Me give thanks. Yes, I know we are doing the one woman show run. Yes. All right, so let's talk about it. The name of the show, Slice of Life. Some more. Some more. Yes. Because you did a Slice of Life yes, before. Yes, last this year. That is... got two Act Boy nominations. Mm-mm. Mm -hmm. Talk up to the people. Thank you. you. Of course. My very first something. And a one-woman show is not mm. an easy task. It's not easy, you know. It really, really not easy. But you see, when you've lived and you've gone through so many varying experiences and you want to share it with people because in every experience I have a lesson that I learn and then because I was this adventurous person that always pushed myself into things mm -hmm. you know what I mean mm -hmm. I just wanted to milk the most out of life mm -hmm. and I sit here today even more convinced that I am blessed by him having had a major heart attack oh yes December. you just recently yes and this is what month number five and I'm almost whole again yeah. and Upon to me running. that is a miracle that is a miracle it's a beautiful thing we're glad you're still there I'm telling you, <laughs> you father, like gone. Like, what do you man <laughs> not many people get a second chance and not only that um I I, I really didn't know how many person that I had Hmm. impacted or just had relationships with that mattered and when I had the heart attack this is where some people contact me from all about all over the world and they always they had a rosy story every one of them had a rosy story about something that happened sometime back that made an impression on them or that had helped with or something and believe me them time they, they are motor tears me ball mm -mm. my ball my ball my ball so till because it was an eye opener yeah, you know right. and yeah. it goes right back to how i've always felt that you have to live a life that right yeah man me now say right it have been good yeah for you so that every every evening when you go home you know or every night when you lie in your bed and you run back the video as me always call it you need to run it back and say, yeah, me, I did X or I did Y or I made this contribution. I did something worthwhile as a human being, you know? All right. So now all these experiences you have and all this lovely life where you live, you can get to bring it to the stage. Yes. In a funny way. In a funny way. And I mean, some things have happened that, believe me, it's remarkable. I mean... Teeth hold me up and after them run through my bag and everything, him walk off and him turn on and say, come lock up your car, you know, before I smell the teeth. <laughs> How many people does this happen to? You, only you. You understand me? <laughs> me get hold up and me get back half of the money yeah, and yeah. all them something there. See, yeah. Isn't that right, yeah, well, just keep this much No, man, me they put on a performance. Me they put on one well, performance. But you. No, but seriously. And, and, and that's what I'm saying, that remarkable things happen to other people as well. But how many people can bring it to an audience mm -hmm. so that they can appreciate it? 
Thank you for talking to us today. It's my pleasure. We are totally in love with you and we always will be. Thank you, Jerry. A long time, a long time. We're coming up. A long up. time. Long me. Yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Bad mind for Bono. No. Five minutes to show time. We gone. Say bye. Bye. Welcome to the Educom Cooperative Credit Union. Our mission is to improve the quality of life for you and your family. We have higher deposit rates, competitive loan rates, and lower fees. Come and experience these benefits and much more at any of our nine branches island-wide. Contact us at 9266973 and we'll even take the credit union to you. Educom Cooperative Credit Union. Value through service, integrity, innovation, and commitment. Ricky Rowe shares his top five with us. Props, costume, have to have a prayer. Have to have at least five, ten minutes to myself. I don't matter is where, even if it's a small little space, my friend was basically just get a little space by myself, just with your zone out. Um, forget reality and just focus on what I'm going to do, which is it's the job at hand. It's getting on stage and um, giving a wonderful performance. How much we got? Four? All right. Last one. Last one. Um, I would have to say. Uh, wow. Uh, after I have joy. After I have peace, I have to make certain say, you know what? Um, I have to happy. I have to happy. You know, if, if, I'm, if I'm not happy, it's hard for me to go up on stage and do something that I'm expected to bring joy to somebody else. Most people would know me for comedy. Now I said I can't play drama, but I love comedy. So if I'm going to go on stage and do comedy and I'm expected to make other persons laugh, then I have to have my own job for the moment. I'm a cooker. Love cooking. I can cook anything at all. Love my kitchen. Um, next, I'm a farmer. Love farming. I plant anything at all. Once we put it in the ground, it'll come. I, I planted. Um, three quarter acres of sweet potato. All of them come, I got about, I would say about 50 pounds out of it. Um, next, I would like to say I'm an only child. Only child from my mother. Um, one, last one, I would say, last, uh, two, all right. Um, I'm a father, love my children dearly, love them to my heart, and I'm also, a wonderful scene. Wonderful scene. Trust me. You know. Mm, Aki. Love Aki. I don't have a habit with salt fish. Love it. Straight. Um, next will have to be rice and peas. Salt fish. My wife has this wonderful dish that she makes. Our national dish is from Cape Verde. It's called Kachupa. Love Kachupa. Uh, last and final, Patty and Cocoa Bread. Love my Patty and Cocoa Bread. First one would have to be Portland. When the boat land. Mm, mm, mm. I love that place. They took my heart, my soul, my mind, and everything. Me love beach, me love river, me love bush, me love everything with Portland stand for. I mean that. Um, so that's my first. Second, I love downtown. Love downtown. We don't know why, we just always, we just, we just take anything at all and just go downtown and just walk up and down. Um, basically, we just like walk up and down downtown. There's so much, there's so much activity I go on downtown. You know, that as an actor, I always just want to walk with them and I used to so much things. Um, third, I would have to say Ocho Rhymes. Love Ocho Rhymes because you know what? It, it's a different sense. You know, you're, you're, getting, you're getting a little bit of um, 
farming, but then you also still have the Jamaican around there. Next favorite place, Red Hills. Um, my house of Red Hills, and to be honest, many of us are so Red Hills are close to country, but still close to Kingston. So it's in between everything. Last one, mm -hmm. theater. Theater, and particularly um, our, our, our national theater, which should be our national theater, the War Theater. Blow that place there. Welcome to the Educom Cooperative Credit Union. Our mission is to improve the quality of life for you and your family. We have higher deposit rates, competitive loan rates, and lower fees. Come and experience these benefits and much more at any of our nine branches island-wide. Contact us at 9266973 and we'll even take the credit union to you. Educom Cooperative Credit Union. Value through service, integrity, innovation, and commitment.